Welcome back to the program. Happy Monday to everybody. Although it's the beginning of the week, people already looking ahead toward the weekend because yeah. so many fun activities happening this weekend. And there's one that's had a big buildup, but it's finally here. The IMT Des Moines Marathon is happening this weekend. So we want to give you an update because there's going to be a lot of people in town with this. We want to help support them, know where those closures are, but also some op opportunities for you to still get involved if you want to throw on some running shoes. So very, very excited to have Chris Birch joining us this morning to talk about all those details. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Okay, so what exactly is happening this weekend? Well, we have 51 weeks of planning for a 26.2 mile party yeah. done, and now it's one week of go time. So the IMT <laughs> Des Moines Marathon's here. It's our 17th annual race, and things kick off this Friday with the Show Sports and Fitness Expo down at the Iowa Event Center. That's right. There okay, so everybody comes if they want to know anything about attire, the latest and greatest uh, to be healthy. If they're trying to make healthier steps in their lives, they can go and check this out absolutely free, correct? This is the place to do it. It's free and open to the public. It's a great opportunity to um, walk up and register for the races, which is still available. Uh, athletes that are registered will check in and get their packets for the race. Uh, and we've got over 60 vendors from around the United States, uh, like you said, Jackie, showing off the latest in apparel and trends. So yeah, and it's pretty amazing. And uh, from uh, being a part of it last year, there's a lot of great giveaways going on as well. So it's a great opportunity to come, uh, whether you're a part of it or just wanting to maybe take those first steps towards becoming a part of some sort of race. Uh, I know Des Moines really embraces that in the warmer months, but we're, we're getting ready for what's happening this weekend. And speaking right. of weather, yes. what are we looking forward to this weekend? Well, the weather forecast looks great if you're a runner this weekend. Uh, um, doing a nice job of getting all of the snow cleared out of here, all of the rain cleared yeah. out of here, the water, the river levels are back in their banks and uh, we'll be able to run on the IMT Des Moines Marathon course as planned. We had a real yeah, see, close call. That was call. a concern, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I spent more time with our course uh, the last 10 days than people could even imagine, but we um, literally were on uh, flood watch uh, last weekend and came within about 36 hours of having to reroute our course. Wow, unbelievable. But you have checked everything out and it's good to go for this coming weekend. That's right. Uh, Taylor has said no more rain this weekend. Yeah, I'll, I'll right. take him up on that. Well, well, say, did, you have to do to any, did you have to do any cleanup <laughs> on any of the course areas? Because they were flooded over, but did you guys have anything you had to do first? We will, and we're still waiting for okay. things to dry and kind of solidify. But right. at the end of this week, Waterworks Park, and a special shout out to Spec USA here in Des Moines, they are going to get out there and clean the park roads for us and get the race ready to go. So folks might see things still closed this week, but that's because they're getting everything ready for us this weekend. Okay, okay. wonderful. So how many people are we expecting to be in town for the IMT Des Moines Marathon? That's a great question. Right now we have over 7,200 athletes. We'll probably have another 500 to register this week. I just looked last night. That includes 46 states and nine different countries. That is oh, awesome. Now, is that for just for the IMT Des Moines Marathon or is that for all the races that are involved this weekend? All of our races, which includes the IMT Des Moines Marathon, Marathon and the IMT Des Moines Half Marathon. Those are on Sunday, October 21st. We actually kick things off this Saturday down at Principal Park with the Mercy Live Up Loop five mile run. We've got a uh, one mile walk and we've got the Mercy Children's Hospital and Clinic's Junior Jog. So down at Principal Park starting at 8 a.m., there's something for everyone. That's gonna be the happening spot. It That's seems that Principal Park seems to be the focal point when it comes to the, that distance race. It really is. We can get off the city roads. So we're unimpacting people as they're trying to get down to the farmer's market on Saturday morning. Uh, we're out on the trails, which uh, knock on wood, uh, we'll, we'll run through on Saturday morning. Uh, and then on Sunday's the big race. As I mentioned, the IMT Des Moines Marathon and Half Marathon on. We've got a five-person relay team called the Bankers Trust Marathon Relay. So uh, I would run like the first four miles of the race, and then Jackie Lou's going to run the next five miles, and then you would take over and run the next five. We'll get the camera operators involved. Uh, all of us come <laughs> together as a team, and we complete the race in legs. Uh, and then oh, the principal 5K that, road yeah. race. So um, there's a lot of opportunities yeah. anywhere with the kids all the way from a one-mile walk to a 5K run, a five-mile run you can get involved, still be a part of the action. Now you mentioned the Principal 5K road race. Uh, are there still, is it still possible to sign up for that too? Most definitely. You can go online right now to DesMoinesMarathon.com, sign up anytime this week, or as I mentioned, come down to that Shield Sports and Fitness Expo, Friday from three to eight, Saturday from 10 to six, walk right up, get yourself registered for the race. Wonderful. Uh, obviously, a lot of work has been put into what's happening this weekend. What are you most looking forward to uh, when it comes to not only the marathon, but all the activities that are involved with this weekend? Sure. I, I have to answer that question. Honestly, when I woke up this morning, I thought, boy, next Monday it will be over. And so, <laughs> you, you, you know, I, you start looking past an event sometimes. Yeah. But uh, I really enjoy hosting parties. I really enjoy having friends over. And the IMT Des Moines Marathon is a party for 7,500 people, many who have never been to Des Moines mm -hmm. for the first time. Right. And 
it's an awesome experience. Um, I'm right there with the athletes having a great time, and mm -hmm. uh, it's race week. We're ready to go. Absolutely, and really get to show off our city in a big way. That's right. So whether you want to participate or come watch, cheer people on, uh, we encourage that to happen this weekend. But let's just say you're a regular uh, community member, and you just want to make sure you're, you're staying at a safe distance so everything can happen as it should. Where can we follow along, or what closures should we be aware of at this time? Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I, I try to be uh, sensitive to the impact of a 26.2 mile road closure. And so you'll find information on the Des Moines Marathon website. If you go to our uh, community page and then check on the cheer zones, you'll have all of the road closure information, okay. uh, but more impor importantly, reroute information as to how to get around. The main uh, artery that you'll want to yeah, avoid. What's the, yeah, what's the main route? Floor Drive. Floor? From, okay. um, from Ingersoll to George Flag Parkway from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. will be closed down. So okay. north-south bound traffic through Des Moines, especially if you need to get to the airport, we encourage you to use the uh, 8th Street, 9th Street viaducts uh, over downtown, and that will get you to your points that you need to go. But uh, okay. there are ways to get around. There are plenty of Des Moines police officers on the course on race morning. Mm -hmm. There's still time for folks to reach out to me personally through the Des Moines Marathon website, and I can answer questions and, and help find a solution to get you to work, church, the airport, okay. wherever it is you need to go on a Sunday morning that 7,500 athletes might be in your way. Yeah, just keep that in wow. mind this weekend when trying to get around. That's right. Try not to run over the runners, and we'll come up to a, a solution to get you where you need to go. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's right. A lot of great activities going to be happening this weekend, and a lot of to remember. So if people want to kind of see the schedule of events, maybe still sign up to participate, give us that website one more time. Go to DesMoinesMarathon.com, and the best page right now to click on is the Cheer Zone page. You'll find Cheer all of that zone. information. Okay. Uh, okay. Download the free IMT Des Moines Marathon app and stay in touch with us. That Love works. it. We'll have fun this weekend, yeah. and Thanks, uh, good Luke. luck to you. Great job. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Really Thanks, appreciate Jackie. it.